day five, guys. Day five, and it is a Bimini Beach day. This water is so, so gorgeous. I'm gonna turn y'all around so y'all can see. But we are headed out to Bimini. And if y'all ready to party with us, go ahead and hit a like and consider subscribing to this channel. And the ones who are coming back, thank you. And I know y'all are ready for the get down, get down, okay? So stay tuned. We got a little walk and a little bit of drive till we get to Bimini. Yes. Let me turn y'all around so y'all can see this beautiful sun. Look at that water, guys. Look at that water. And of course, our beautiful ship. All right. Ooh, so hopefully the weather stays really nice for us. Because it's going to be a hot one. And I got my sunscreen. And I'm ready. I think normally when we get a little further up, it'll be a trans that'll take us. And we got our Cosmel hat, which has become my favorite. I'll be wearing it even when I get back home. Mind your business. video y'all we found us a seat I think I think in this cute little shell cabana um but we are gonna go look and see if we can get closer by the pool because when the DJ cranks it up it'll just be a freaking jam fest and I don't know if y'all can hear the music in the background so I have to come in periodically and update y'all about Bimini but look at look at this site hold on Pool. Y'all, guess what? It is hot, extremely hot out here. We're just chillaxing, still waiting for her husband to see if he found a spot by the pool. But, um, all right, I'm getting ready to go get in this water. Came back to check in with y'all. And then I don't know if he forgot where I was at. I'll update y'all. I'll come back and let y'all know. How about that? Who no mas? Hola. We have uh, taken a dip in the pool. I'm at the uh, at the beach, and I would have taken you guys with me, guys and gals with me. But guess what? We can't risk y'all falling in the pool. So, whew. so we are hot, hot, hot tamale. Okay, um, it's looking a little bit overcast. Let me see if y'all can see this. All right, y'all see that? It's looking a little bit overcast. The problem is, you don't mind it for the shade purposes. You don't mind it for the shade purposes, but you don't want it to rain either, right? Um, it's just about to be 12, 15. 
we get to stay on the beach here until about 6 30 all aboard at 6 30 and tomorrow morning i will see y'all in miami but i'm pretty sure once the party gets jumping y'all know i ain't gonna be talking to y'all right um <clears throat> so i'm gonna take a few pictures and that's gonna be that ladies and gentlemen
That shit is hot. <laughs> the first one. <laughs> Try it. I want you to try a little bit <laughs> Cause you talking <laughs> yeah, That's all you need Yeah How is it? Agave. So I decided to kind of go off the map and order <clears throat> lobster, scallop, and fish. Okay. So it wasn't one of the things that was included. So it was additional where you have to pay for it. Blase, blase. It's fine. Okay. So you know, I got in my head that I'm thinking about to give me a nice lobster tail because I love lobster. Lobster tail, some nice seared scallops. And fish I wasn't, you know, I wasn't really excited about because I don't really eat fish like that, but it is what it is. Um, I think it was $55. And that's normally what, um, you know, around about what you'll pay for a lobster and scallop anyway. So if y'all could see when it came, ooh, it was the, pre the presentation was really nice. On a scale of 1 to 10. I think I might be at a... A five, a five or six. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just, the verdict is still out. For one, the scallops came. I'm thinking I'm gonna have me some nice seared scallops. You know, maybe three or four, four nice sizes pieces. Baby, no, that thing came in ceviche, and it was cold. Did not like it. Uh, the fish. I'm not a big fish fan i kind of knew i wasn't really going to eat the fish like that and the lobster was oh it was okay i just i like the fact that it was a full lobster but again it was okay um other than that we took some shots of tequila i don't remember what the name of it was patron anejo okay y'all first of all if y'all saw the clip it had three different salts on there okay so they you take your uh your your server take your order for your drinks and somebody else deliver it to you right okay so the young lady comes she bring the drinks she sit them down i try to taste the salt because i feel i feel as if it's three different types of salt right the one i picked was the hottest fucking one okay so burnt me all the way up then our actual service shows up and guess what he say? So be careful because this one is the, <laughs> this one is the hottest one. 
You should have got your ass over here 20 minutes ago to tell me that, really. Like, 20 minutes ago would have been perfect. Anyway, I found that out the hard way. It is what it is. And so the other two, one was regular sea salt. The other one was like a salt. It 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 gave, it reminded me of like a seasoned salt. But the other one, when he did explain it, the name of it was Scorpion. That shit was hot. So I also had to um, have Hubby try it too. He agreed. Because at first he was like, there's no way it's that hard. There's no way. That motherfucker. That was hot. It was hot. <laughs> so uh, we back in the room for a little bit because uh, we took two shots apiece. I ordered a fresco pineapple with rum. Is that mixed in white and brown? Did we have? What was our shot? Brown? It was a brown? Why is it brown? Anyway. Okay, so I ordered two shots. Uh, I had a fresco pineapple with rum. It was okay. Um, and so we were going to wait around for dessert, but I just feel like I was going to uh, throw up in those people nice establishment. And so I decided to head back to the room. But again, this is the fifth and final day at sea. And thank you guys for traveling with us for these last five days. And of course, celebrating my birthday with me. Yes, we didn't do anything to our hair today because after we came back from the... Tomorrow is Jacksonville to close out your birthday. So we're glad you're going to. Who, who jumped in the vlog? So, yeah. So tomorrow we will be back in Miami. And then we'll be traveling down to Jacksonville. And then we'll stay over in Jacksonville. We haven't been to Jacksonville. Okay. Have we been this year? We haven't been to Jacksonville this year. So we haven't been to Jacksonville this year. That's crazy. So he wants y'all to know that he is going to Copeland's. He's been waiting to go eat at Copeland's. We haven't been to Jacksonville in quite some time. But we'll hang out in Jacksonville for a little bit. Uh, of course, dinner is already selected. So Copeland's, y'all know we stopping by what? On the way back? Buggies. If y'all ain't new now, y'all know, okay? And again, um, yeah, thank you for traveling with us. Go ahead and hit a like. Like and subscribe. Consider and subscribing. You, you gotta you say already, consider subscribing and consider, what? Consider subscribing. And if you already a viewer, thank you for tuning in. And continue to tune in. We're just gonna be doing a lot of good things, you know what I'm saying? Alright. So again, go ahead and hit a like. Consider subscribing, and if you back chilling with us. Thank y'all for coming back with us. And then we got uh, another big trip coming up. Um, I'm, we got to get some waiver signed with, the, with some people that's coming <laughs> with us. Another big trip coming up in six weeks. Destin, Florida. Um, we're going from September 1st to the 4th. It's going to be a huge um, big deal down there. They have fireworks, parades, and everything down there. We're going to have some fun. Um, so I, I want to see you guys tune in, man. Let's tune in. Let's keep this thing going. Alright. <laughs> So yeah, but in between we do have a husband birthday next month. My birthday's August. next month. Um, oh it's gonna God. be a countdown. I'm drunk. <laughs> I, I told y'all it's the tequila. I ain't lie, man. I'm drunk. It's the tequila. That's why I said, get me out of these people fine establishment because I'm gonna puke all over this place. You look nice on TV. Oh, thank you. Even with my natural hair. Oh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> y'all listen. I didn't want to get braids to come on a trip. Um. What I can say is I had a good time with my hair just being natural as it is. So I was able to get get in the beach, get grounded with the sand, the water. It was beautiful, okay? But I think when you get back to the ship and it's time to change and it's go to dinner and stuff like that, that's when I feel like I don't want to do any hair. So I'm still in the midst of either growing it out so I can get braids or cutting it very low so I can shower, get out, put some products in it, and go about my business. But... That's neither here nor there. I probably will do a hair vlog or take a poll and y'all can kind of help me decide that. Anyway, uh, yeah, so our next trip is in September. What is that? Labor Day? I always get them confused. Yeah, Labor so Day. Labor Day weekend. Labor Day, it is uh, Labor Day weekend destined trip two because uh, I don't think I did a vlog. Yes, you did. It was a real cold. And you was like, it's too cold. Is that the okay, I did post a short. Yeah, you posted a short. I did post a short. We went back and we went to Destin back in... March? Yeah, it was March. We went to Destin in March with two other couples. Yeah, the first day was very nice. The second day... The first day was nice. It was storming. The power shut off. 
the first day we got to Destin was really nice. The first day we got to Destin was really nice. Y'all yeah, the first right. day we got remember he he has had shots. He said he was drunk, right? The first day we got to Destin was really nice, y'all. The second day is when we were supposed to uh, rent a boat, go out to Crab Island. I don't know what the hell happened, but a cold front came through. The temperature dropped down to like 30 degrees. You know you're staying off of the water. We had to go get scarves. Uh, scarves. It was a mess. It was cold. So this trip is take two to Destin, okay? So we'll be uh, going with the same group of friends. Like he said, we got to get some um, um, NDAs signed um, to be able to put them in the vlog. If not, I try to be vlogging around them because, you know, I don't want to well, invade I, I, anybody's I know, privacy. I know, I know they'll be happy to jump over. Yeah, I don't want to invade anybody's privacy. Um, so, but with that said, next month is husband's birthday. And then we probably just have a day trip planned because... Around that time, everybody's back at work, back at school, and the whole whole nine. So, huh, I'm not going to hold y'all. We're going to relax for a little bit. I think let the uh, tequila come down just a little bit. And then we'll head back out on the ship for a little bit. But like I've been saying the whole vlogs, sorry about some of just the voiceovers. But again, they partying everywhere on the ship, y'all. And the music is pumping. The only, only place that music is not pumping... It's in your room. <laughs> That's it. I mean, when you even going into the bathroom, the fucking music is pumping, okay? It's pumping at casino. It's pumping at the pool. It's pumping at the gallery. It's pumping in the restaurants. It's pumping in the elevator because music is playing in the elevator. It's pumping all around this place. So, so right now, it feels like the captain is on cruise control. The other day, we was hauling ass. Oh, yeah, we got a good story time for y'all when we were leaving the uh, Club Bimini. Uh, you know, you ride the trans. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you oh. ride the trans. This guy, I just think that he was really into his drink package. No, no, no. Yeah, he was really into his drink package at the cruise, y'all. dude, his partner. Let me tell you guys the story. I'm going to have to prop y'all up because my arm's getting partner. a little tired. Hold, hold that mean? thought. Hold that thought. My for a good time. All right, we back, y'all. Had to prop y'all up because my arm was getting tight. But we were talking about the um. We're talking about the tram bank, man. Um, the guy he was behind us. He sat behind us on the on the trip, and, and his partner was like, "I left, I left my, I left my phone. I left something. I, I don't know if it was a phone <laughs> or whatnot." The tram guy, he put his foot to the floor. First of all, if y'all have been to Bimini, Bahamas, if y'all have traveled anywhere, y'all know when you get on them trans and it take you from the ship to yeah, your location, yeah. they are hauling ass. Yeah. So it's like, yeah. sit still, arms in. Yeah, because they take Don't like, freaking move. They, they, all they do is travel back and forth all day. So so the dude was like, his partner was like, I think I left my phone or something. And he was like, don't worry, I'll go get it. Now, at this time, I'm going to get it. <laughs> The tram guy had me put his foot to the floor. So I want to say, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm really <coughs> speaking, the tram was going about 25 to 30 miles per hour at that point. You think so? Yeah. yeah. I, it had, this is the thing. It hadn't picked up. It hadn't, it picked, hadn't up picked up that capacity. much speed yet. Right. But it was going enough way, speed for you not to decide you that you want to yeah. jump off of this it. This guy and, was about 65. Yeah, he was an older gentleman. He was about gentleman. 60 to 65 And I just, old. like I say, his drink package was really, like, yeah. fucking you know, kicking in. Because he know. was like, wait, I left, I'll be right back. <laughs> he was, he was like, the he'll trip. be right back. My he whole thought, it. thinking further into it, is kind of like, if you'll be right back, sir, we're leaving. So when were you going to get yeah. back? He didn't train? say stop this tram. Yeah. He just jumped off. And everybody's face was kind of like, and I had already had my phone inside my bag because I would have really, like, tried to blog. It was a young lady that was sitting. She was recording because she was getting ready to record the scenery and caught him like plapping like yeah, he, he, on he that 60, concrete. He was 60 to And everybody was like, oh! He jumped off at, full, at, at he was airborne. I don't know what he was going to do. And he landed, oh, he landed on his two knees and Oh my God. It was he like, heard smack, like it was bad. His partner even was like, are you crazy? Yeah, what are you yeah. doing? Before yeah. we know it, he was like, I'll be right back, guys. And he got up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I don't think he realized 
It wasn't going fast, but it was hey, going on, fast for an older gentleman. That I'm made, not that. That made it say, I'll be right back, guys. <laughs> he was, that's the part that kind of got me. He was that like. That made it say, I'll be right back, guys, and jumped off. He was like, I'll be right back. I'll be he, right back. He landed so hard. He forgot hard. something, yeah. And he, he just got up. Like, it was his knees, and you can hear him. Too. His knees were in, instantly bruised. Yeah. Um, everybody stopped the tram. People ran up to him. He was like, I'm okay. I'm okay. I don't even know if and I heard that guy, part. Everybody was just like. He was like, ah! he's like, I'm okay. I'm okay. And one of the guys on the on the tram said, no the hell you're not. That's and we had talking. already like. Driven a little bit into the guy who was driving the train realized like he should stop and when he stopped them He was even looking like what the hell like what is going on? That's why I say it's just his Adrenaline his drink packet was kicking in and he just jumped off that Train as everybody so you know that was the joke all the way back, but again no, we do said. hope that he's okay. Yeah, I think he'll be okay, but tomorrow he's really going to feel that because he's going to have some really scuff marks and everything to prove it. It's funny, even because we were at a uh, pool party, <coughs> Scarlet Night, and my husband was sitting by this older gentleman and like some group of friends, and he was asking him, was he having a friend? He said, shit, I don't, I don't remember. remember. <laughs> yeah, gotta remember. And, and that's seriously, that's the type of party it is. Like, unless you have footage and video... That's like the that's the way that you really gonna remember if you had a really good freaking time. Cause you was dancing. I got video of you on top of the stand. Yeah, up. and the cellar way I got video of him having a good time. It was raining out in the rain. Up, uh, it's just that type of vibe and party. Yeah, guys. you had some lady. So, you had some lady fan. He was popping that fan. Oh yeah. So I do got some footage of that. One of those fans I wanted to get, but um, <sighs> yeah, it's coming to an end, and uh. Just wanted to come on here and share that with y'all. But again, uh, I have these vlogs split up. Y'all, I did something to my footage and I got to find it. I am so upset for the first few days that we got here. So hopefully I can go back and find it and kind of put it in order. And then we can kind of move forward like that. This is our second time on Virgin Voyage. But I can say I think later on what we might do, our first uh, sit down, we might do a sit down review about virgin voyage um since i am youtubing now uh i am more detail oriented husband more in the party vibe if the drinks is flowing he's okay with stuff me yep. personally i got a mm -mm, i got a list of some things so i'll probably do a sit down about that because even like just really quick like the ambiance and meaning like the aroma like i'm all into that and i think because we left miami and we stayed at what courtyard marriott, courtyard, marriott. that freaking place smelled like ro nice. roses lavender like it was, nice. it was like even the dolphin mall smelled good yeah when we went to dolphin mall in miami it was just like the aroma it was just really great now what i can say is people are rude in that damn mall so you won't find me going there too much because I don't even live in Miami, but uh, I don't know. I just think, excuse me, goes a long way. Anyway, we're going to close out the vlog. We ain't going to keep chap, chap, chapping. So hit a like, subscribe, and y'all know what? Until we talk later, what? Ciao.